Hello friends. We are talking about living a powerful and a victorious Christian life and today I want to focus on walking in the spirit. Here's what we have in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So, Paul the apostle reminds the believers that to overcome the world and the lust that you know we see in the world one needs to walk in the spirit what does this mean walking in the spirit simply means yielding to the spirit or giving in to the promptings of the spirit now we all know that uh, uh, as human beings even as believers we have a war with flesh uh, we have a war with the sinful um, desires within us which draws in the wrong direction they take us away uh, from the nature of god uh, and instead of yielding to them we are supposed to yield to what the holy spirit is saying and when we yield to the holy spirit that is what is walking in the spirit when we walk in the spirit or in other words listen to the promptings of the holy spirit we will be able to overcome the lust of the flesh and this is what god is calling us to we need to be under the influence of the holy spirit and uh, in in these very passages paul also talks about uh, an incident he talks about this expression of being uh, filled with the spirit uh, he also at at one point talks about being drunk uh, with the spirit so basically Uh, what he is implying it's a figure of speech you know, he is not uh, promoting any any sort of an ungodly behavior but the figure of speech is to help us understand that we can come under the influence of the holy spirit to such a great extent that we quite easily flow with what god wants for our lives and we know the role of the holy spirit the function of the holy spirit which is to work in line with the word of god which is to glorify jesus uh, and so the holy spirit will not cause us to do anything which does not glorify god the holy spirit will never cause us to move in a direction uh, which disagrees the word of god so the holy spirit will lead us in righteous paths he will lead us in the path of holiness and which is why we must yield to what the holy spirit is speaking to us now what will happen if we continue to yield to the voice of the holy spirit in this passage of galatians 5 um we read from verse 22 it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self control against such there is no law so uh giving into the holy spirit and constantly being in union with the holy spirit will begin to yield results and this uh, set of results is termed as the fruit of the spirit and we saw all these wonderful virtues all of this can be produced in us when we are so united with the holy spirit and so i want to encourage us walk in the spirit you will overcome the lust of the flesh let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for the truth of your word which enables us to um lord be overcomers and lord i declare that each of us lord we are overcomers in christ jesus we bless you we honor you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.